Hello friends! So this is a Washingtonia Robusta and a lot of people ask themselves how to see the difference between a Robusta and a Filifera. Well it is quite simple once you know how to look for it. So first thing it is quite easily seen are the petiole base, so the leaf bases. And on the Robusta they are clearly red brownish colored but on the Filifera they are almost green. Then the second thing you can clearly see is the spines on the Robusta. They are really aggressive and they continue all the way along to the leaf themselves. On the Filifera they are irregular and not as aggressive and they stop. So here you don't have spines. So the threads aren't typical for the Filifera as the name might indicate the Robusta has them as well but the most easiest way to tell the difference between a Robusta and a Filifera is one the stem Robusta is slender straight upwards where the Filifera is big and massive another one is the leaves Robusta has deep green shiny leaves they are flat and the segments aren't as deeply cut out. So generally sp speaking, they're only cut to the middle of the leaf. This makes the leaves really nice wide open. But on the Filifera, the leaf color is more grayish. And on the Filifera, the segments are cut out much deeper. So the leaf isn't as nicely flat as on the Robusta. So here I have a little Filifera planted outside in Belgium. On the subject this small, the differences aren't as clear as on a big subject, of course. But you can already see that the leaf bases lack the clear darkish brown red color. You can also see that it lacks the trichomen all the way in the side of the Hestula. So the leaf segments are cut out more irregular as on the Robusta. And you can also see that it lacks the spines. I have another Robusta over here to show the difference. The trichomen is way more present. The spines are aggressive and all the way on to the top. So this said, you can also see that, my, that there are a lot of differences. My Robusta there has really clear brown petiole bases, where this Robusta is almost green. You still can see the, the brown a little bit further down, but it's quite green. So yes, there are uh, quite some differences, even between the, main, the, the same species. So for the culture, the main difference is that the Robusta can handle about minus six degrees Celsius, where the Filifera can handle a little bit more, like minus nine degrees Celsius. But there's a but. The Robusta really handles um, humid, cold climate well, where the Filifera really hates humidity and prefers really dry climates. So this is why the Filifera is harder to get through winter in my Belgium climate. This is the first attempt in, in the ground where the Robusta over there is planted for almost nine years now I think. It's the first one to start up every spring. Of course it gets a little bit, little bit of protection as soon as temperatures go down um, under minus three degrees Celsius and um, when it goes even lower I put a heating cable around it. So for this Filifera I will take I will put a cover on top just to be sure that it keeps out of humidity but I'm pretty confident that it will um, grow as well as the Robusta as it doesn't grow as fast I think it will be easier 
to protect as well. So this one I planted only this year. Um, it had a little bit of a hard time uh, the first month, but then it uh, really kicked off. This season was really dry and heat, and you can see it does brilliant. Of course, there are always some exceptions, and um, that is when uh, Robusta mixes up with a Filifera. This is where you get Filibusta. So in places where you see a lot of filiferas and a lot of robustas, you can see Washingtonias that have, have a little bit of both uh, characteristics. Uh, like, for example, the brownish leaf base, uh, but almost no spines on the petioles. Or a lot of spines on the petioles, but green petioles. So then we have a filibusta, and in order of the number of characteristics that it has more you will say it is a Washingtonia filibusta robusta or Washingtonia filibusta filifera so guys I hope you like this video I hope you can now easily see the difference and it will help you to look for seeds when you're on holiday or on tropical locations don't forget to like or subscribe and I see you in the very next video bye bye